Uh, number six here, you've got uh, talk about the offender. We've, we've had some contact about, um, well, first off, what the cost is. I, I guess I, there's a little bit of uh, misunderstanding about what the cost is to us on a daily basis to, to get uh, a, a person here. And then the, the point being, if it's not, um, if it doesn't save a great deal of money in, in this economy, should we be be using that service versus hiring um, part-time people on, who might possibly be looking for a job? Yeah. Um, and, and, and when Earl asked me a couple of questions yesterday, I didn't have any answers off the top of my head. And I think I think I told him that we'd been paying seven fifty for for summer help and. I checked with Mike this morning. He said, "No, we've been paying nine plus, uh, depending on how many years they've come back." Uh, the other issue is that uh, the the offender uh, would be available to start helping uh, as soon as we get the agreement done, which might be you know middle of April here, and we would use him on through September and October. Uh, what is the cost to get? Is it forty dollars a day? That's what I understood. The last time Mike checked with Brita, that's what they wanted to charge was forty dollars a day to be delivered to our shop. And so uh, you, you don't. I, I guess the other thought, and in we need four days a week. We you'd be you'd be thinking about um, a cost of at nine bucks uh, an hour for an eight-hour day, seventy-two dollars. And if you're using forty. <coughs> For transportation, that's a consideration, but it doesn't. I guess it doesn't need to be exclusive to high school kids. If there are other part-time people that would be available from the first of May to October, in, in this current economic time, there might be more of those available other than just college or high school kids. It would be college kids. But uh, if if you're concerned about needing to have them into October. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's something to look at and think about and look at what your costs are. and, and um, Because with, with a, a part-time employee of, uh, from the area or within the county, you do not have to have a person chaperoning him all the time that he's here. So that's, yeah. that's also another consideration. And they might be able to drive a vehicle. That too. You know, the, the prisoners aren't supposed to, to be in a motorized vehicle. Right. I think there's, I think, and Mike's checked into that. I guess I hadn't talked to this family needs, but I think there's certain things they can drive, there's certain things they can't. And, and uh, yeah, they. So, they, so you're looking at, at, at nine versus the, the $40, you're looking at a difference of $30 a day, or maybe even a little less if there are other expenses uh, associated with that. Um, so I think you have to look at that pretty hard. Yeah. Well, it's forty dollars plus so much an hour, which no. is, is it's minimal if it is. It's, it wasn't it's forty cents an hour or something. No, it's forty or four bucks for the meal. It's all. I thought there was an hourly rate. Yeah, I so forgot it, but maybe they changed that. But it's, I don't know. it's minimal, whatever. It's, it, was. it was less than a dollar an hour. I thought it was forty cents an hour. I thought there was two numbers there plus the meal. Well, there's you know there's another. If you had to have them supervise it, then it, then that throws the whole thing out the window because they saw it charge twenty eight dollars and forty cents per hour if they've got one of the correctional staff to supervise, and then maybe that makes sense if you got ten or twelve people to yeah. supervise, but for one person that that doesn't you know work at all. They also had another clause in here about providing van transportation at sixty cents per mile per work day, which you know with with uh, Breed of providing the, the the van and the, and the manpower to go pick them up. Uh, I don't know how they, I don't know if that's an option that was even available with only bringing one person in you know, this direction. Would you only get one? The county's only getting one. Well, uh, but City of Lakeview, my understanding from Mike is that City of Lakeview was looking at, at two offenders and, and Breed, I think, was going to get one. So there would be a total of, they'd pick up a total of four. You know, it, it costs forty dollars for every one. No, I, I mean, Breed, Breed is providing the van and Breed is providing the drivers. So whether they're trying to cover, I mean, they're covering, you know, part of their cost. How much more it's going to cost them a day to 
to run this van. I guess I, I don't know. But I, part, my first, my first thought is I'm, I'm against it because I, I, I think if you're getting that close and if, if we have people out there that are looking for employment, if, if your financial considerations are that close, I, I would rather hire a part-time person from the community. Well, the only thing with part-time, and I don't know, you know, uh, our union contract doesn't really address, you know, non, well, it doesn't address college students either, but we've never had any issues, I guess, with any complaints about uh, that help. Uh, but then you get into issues of, of, of uh, if you're hiring only for part-time and then you lay them off, do they, do, are they able to collect uh, unemployment on you? Uh, I mean, that's typically in the past, that's what we've, we've always only hired college kids is because we know, you know when they leave their fall, they're, they're not going to try to collect unemployment on us. Uh, but what, I guess that's, that's my opinion. I, I, I would rather, I would rather um, do the, the part-time thing, but uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? I mean, that, that's yeah, my I opinion. I don't know if you can find anybody that wants to do that kind of work for nine dollars an hour. You know, the elevators, like the fertilizer places, they pay more than nine dollars an hour to get part time. Do they? They pay twelve to thirteen dollars. I don't know. That might be one of the issues. I've used them back when I was in Odebo and it worked out real well. I mean, I, I guess I look at it as a sort of win-win. I mean, they it gives those guys a chance to to perform some, you know, I don't want to call it civic duty, but I mean they're But the people over in Rockwell Square that are over there that we would be getting are people that are getting ready to be released. So they don't want to goof up because if they do, then they go back to the, the big house for a while. Yeah. So they're kind of walking and got a thin ice when they're at Rockwell City. And the only experience I've had with them is, is I know uh, Pat Manning over at Rockwell City has used them a lot to do trees, as, trees forever stuff around the lake, and I know the city, Rockwell City, has used, you know, used them. Like, they usually wear orange jumpsuits, so you know when they're working with the crew which ones are the offenders. And I, I haven't heard any complaints about you know the work they've done or. Oh, the and I'm, I'm with, with with correct supervision. I, I don't have any. I, I think. I think yeah. they're they're they would be just fine. I just during during this economic climate and and those considerations, if the costs are anywhere near similar, I I would prefer to hire a a, yeah. a citizen rather than most of the people. You know, the bulk of our budget or revenue comes from property owners. And they're probably you know I'm trying to save money. They probably appreciate that. It's it's a it's a fifty fifty similar well, cleaner sure. deal with the you know collective bargaining unit, mm -hmm. work comp and insurance. It's it's a clean you know in some ways it's a cleaner deal for us. And it, I mean we get terminated. I mean I think it says thirty days notice, but I think if you get if you got somebody coming that that isn't working out, you know you don't have to take them. You can refuse to have them back. I guess what I'm saying. But you're also not getting the same guy every time you. Yeah, and I think that's one thing I had talked to Mike about. He needed to check into. I think you might get the same guy for you know several weeks, maybe, and then if he gets released, yeah, then you're then you're could have somebody else the next time. So it, it's it's a tough call. I mean, I, I think you have difference of opinion. I'm in favor of trying. I think I think it'll work. Okay. We can try it if it don't work, you know. Or if we get issues, if we get complaints, you know, I guess. I think we've had people come to the office asking for job applications, but I think they're all typically full-time sure. full with benefits. That's what I'd like to see.